Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. The diagram shows a bar magnet near an aluminum ring. Okay, so this is the aluminum ring here. And this is the bar magnet. The ring is supported so that it is free to move just like a pendulum. The ring is initially at rest. In experiment one, the magnitude is moved. The magnet is moved towards the ring. This is the experiment number one. In experiment two, the magnet is moved away from the ring. In each experiment, what is the initial direction of the motion of the ring? My dear students, there is a concept here and this is going to be very interesting. Just listen to this. Okay, so when we talk about the induced currents, okay, so we know that whenever there is a change in flux, so EMF is induced and it is given by the formula which is given by Faraday that is E is equal to d5 by dt. So definitely when we are moving this, uh, this magnet to and fro, there is a change in the magnetic flux associated with the ring. Now the flux linked with the ring is changing and due to which there will be an induced EMF and definitely there will be a resistance of the ring. So there will be an induced current also. So the induced current will be given by E divided by R. So there will be this induced current that will start flowing in this. Now up to this, that is fine. And you can be asked the question like how the current, what will be the direction of the current and uh, how the current will be induced and all those kind of questions, they can be solved easily. But in this question, he's talking about the force that is acting on the ring. Now, the big question is why there will be a force on the ring. But I will be telling you that. First of all, let us answer this question. Now, we are going to use the lens law. Now, in lens law, lens law says that the ring will try its best to nullify the initial effect that is brought into initially. Like, for example, the magnet is moving towards the ring and the flux has increased. So the ring would be saying, I don't want the change. So I will stand against the increase in the flux. So how the ring is actually going to achieve that? How is it? How is how do you think ring would be doing it? Number one, it would be inducing a current and it will create its own magnetic field. And that magnetic field will be opposing the in additional magnetic field that was increased, thereby reducing the magnetic field, thereby reducing the flux. But there is another method. The another method is to increase the distance between the two. So it will be a humble attempt by the ring to move away from the ring to increase the distance so that the bar magnet is coming near to it. So ring will try to move away from it because it does not want the flux to increase. So that becomes another method chosen by the ring so that the flux does not increase. So definitely in the first experiment, it would be moving to, to the left. Now we are going to apply the same principle for the other direction in the experiment two. Now in experiment two, the magnet is now moved away from the ring. Obviously the ring will be witnessing decrease in the flux and, and the ring will say, I don't want it. So now the ring does not want the flux to decrease. So what can ring do? So ring, ring will be creating an induced current, which will create a magnetic field that is going to supplement the initial magnetic field, which was reducing. So uh, if this is the North Pole, let us say the magnetic field will be towards this. So current will, current will be in such a way that the magnetic field induced magnetic field will be towards the left side. But the second part also we have now the ring can also do this thing that the ring will start moving towards right. Why to right? Because, because now the magnet is moving towards right hand side. It is moving away. So the ring will say that don't go that, don't go there, don't do that. So ring will try to come near to that. Okay, so it means that ring is now going towards the left, right hand side. So definitely our answer is going to be B, no doubt about that. So this is the explanation for this complete question. But now there is another question and the question is, why is the force created on the ring? Like I've given you all of the phenomena, but is there any why like induced current is understandable, but force, we have never even considered the force earlier. So how can we explain that? Yeah, I tell you. See, when we have this kind of a motion going on there, this ring acts like a magnet. So this ring, like I'm going to show the ring like this, let us say, yeah. So this ring is having two phases now. So one face 
is going to act like north face another face will act like a uh, like a south face let us say there is an induced current and induced current is creating a magnetic field of this direction clearly it means that magnetic field is moving like this and so what about the magnetic faces now so this is one face and the magnetic field is coming out so the face that i'm showing is the north face and the face which is behind that will be acting like the south face because magnetic field lines they are entering into the ring from back side it means this is the south face this is the north face so these are the two faces now these two faces because of these two faces i can say that ring is actually no longer acting like a ring it is now acting like a magnet so it itself has converted itself into a magnet thereby creating the forces of attraction and repulsion uh, uh, in regards to the other magnet so in one case there will be a south face here so it will start attracting and in another case it, there will be a north face on this side and south on the other side and it will start repelling so these two things can happen so i'm just going to i've just tried to uh, describe the concept behind this like what is actually happening you have to understand this thing by yourself now try to do this question once again watch the video again and this concept will be crystal clear okay my dear students this is professor varun so i think the answer is given so this is it thanks for watching the video please share the video with your friends all the best bye